So after a quick night stop at Dancing Bear Hostel, we made our way out in the morning and started to a place that I've been looking forward to see. So, we've been climbing this this morning. Awesome climb. This is fun. Uh, the last mile and a half, uh, we're great. We're getting some views. The trail was always up, but now we've come out to this open area. We just saw a, like a first communications tower, but this is supposed to have an FAA satellite tower um, of some sort or communications tower at the top of this bald. Look at that. That is blue sky. Hope you can make this out, but if you follow up beyond Grandma Shorty, see those white posts, and that trail goes all the way up over that next bump, and up there is the FAA tower. What do you think of this? We're pretty sure that that top up there that's being covered by the Smokies um, is where we came from. We think we came down that way and then came back up going north this way. Since the mothership never answered, I decided it was time to move on to the next place we look forward to seeing, and that's an area called Max Patch. It's in the Pisgah National Forest. It's on the North Carolina, Tennessee border in Madison County, North Carolina. And it's a long climb up to a wide open bald. You can see the snow was still in the low areas, but actually the weather was pretty warm and the wind was fairly manageable and the views were unimaginable. They just rolled on and even though it wasn't particularly sunny, the clouds gave it a depth that we just can't explain. At mile 254.7, we came to the summit, 4,629 feet. Some people there were nice enough to take our picture. We don't get many of us together. And then we just enjoyed the summit of Max Patch. <laughs> As the day moved on, we decided it was time for us to move on and we started heading out, heading down Max Patch until we came up with a better idea. That's right, we decided to find a place slightly out of the wind and to set up our tent. We put it up so that we could just sit there in the evening and look at the views and even though it was windy and it got a little chilly, we had no problem spending the night set up right there. It was an amazing place to spend the night in the morning. We sat beside the tent, we cooked a delicious supper, and then we waited for the evening to come. In the morning, we got up early, and we started to see the sun rise in the distance from Max Patch. And again, the clouds gave it a depth and a kind of a haunting beauty that maybe surpassed a full-blown blue sky, sunny sunrise. We enjoyed the sunrise and then we decided to start our day heading on.
<laughs> That's me going through the same gate. <laughs> Up a Walmart, <laughs> Walmart Mountain. Uh, we'll start this again. We're at the top of Walnut Mountain, we believe. It's kind of neat. That'll patch up here too. And uh, weather's coming in, but that's okay. Up in that tree, there's some kind of birdhouse, bat house. I don't know, but the wind feels good. How you feeling, Grandma? Yeah. Yeah, it feels good up here, huh? It does. It does. So. Alrighty. Pretty place. Wish I had a kite. Hey, everybody. We're at the summit of Bluff Mountain. Um, and uh, if we, when we look out, it wouldn't come out on camera. As you can see, the trees are starting to green up below us. And. Uh, and that's kind of nice to see. There's views to be had, but they're through the uh, through the treetops. And we started at Walmart, Walnut Mountain Shelter, which had that that shelter on it, and that kind of a little bald. And then we came up cap over Captain Gap, Cat Pen Gap. And now we're back up at 4,686 feet at Bluff Mountain, and uh, we're heading on. Yeah, we had a kale gap with no kale. Mm -hmm. Good, because I don't like kale. Mm -hmm. But at this point, we're so we're so fresh vegetable thinking that I'd probably enjoy a good bucket of kale or whatever you serve kale in. This was kind of interesting. Um, yeah. Pretty decent deep caves all the way up. Let sleeping bears sleep. Kind of weird how the trail goes through different ecosystems. We've been in wide open old growth forest for the last <laughs> I don't know, four or five hours, maybe. And then we come in here, and I think you can see it's all twisted vines, all up above us. How big they are. Grandma, go up to that vine and put your trekking pole up to it. One, no, over the, up there to the right. Yeah, look at the width of that. That's a vine. Goes way up into the trees and then down here, all the way down through. Now look back on it, you can see how I mean, it looks like a jungle. It's pretty interesting. They say following the Appalachian Trail is easy, you follow one blaze after another. But in fact, sometimes it gets downright confusing. At the end of this day, we couldn't really find a good place to put up our tent no matter where we looked, until we found an old forest road. We really, really hoped it wasn't active. All night long, we really hoped it wasn't active. Good morning, everybody. What day is it? Today is Thursday. Thursday, we finally figured it out. Yes. The 20... 28th, I think. No, 9th. 29th. Close to We're Easter. Close. Yeah. That's all I know. <laughs> and uh, where are we going? We are going to Hot Springs. Yes. Hot Springs. And 
get some resupply, get laundry done, really done. Then, we'd like to make it to Irwin. The resupply is between Salt and, uh, I keep calling Salt Springs Salt Lake. That would be a big mistake. <laughs> um, but the resupply between Hot Springs and Irwin look few. So uh, we're going to have to be creative at a Dollar General, one thing. Down there you can see the river. And our first view through the trees of Hot Springs. It's kind of cool because you can hear dogs barking and a lawnmower. <laughs> so we just have to get down there. Yep, it's recess. We hear recess from the elementary school up there. And it sounds great. Right in front of you, I think you can, if I stop, and see those. I don't know if you can. Yeah, there's the school buses. There's the school. The kids are playing out in the ball field. And that, I believe, is downtown Hot Springs. Coming to Hot Springs. Maintained by the Carolina Mountain Club. And may I say, they do an outstanding job. Wow, there's a lot of a lot of work done up there. This is the Hot Springs Resort. Um, <laughs> and we grabbed a place for the night. There's no, nothing available for tomorrow because it's Easter weekend, which we keep forgetting. But uh, a lot of the folks we were hiking with are across the street in the cabins and the, actually this room was cheaper. And as you can see, not too shabby digs, huh? Hey, before we blow this up with our backpacks, look where we end up. <laughs> this is not roughing it on the Appalachian Trail. A bathroom, a toilet, a shower. Holy moly, look at that bed. Unfortunately, we only have it for one night. And down that hallway, massage rooms and spas. We didn't avail ourselves of that, but we certainly enjoyed the rest of the room, even the chocolates they left for us. And if we sat outside our door, we looked right through downtown. We watched the train go by. And on an Easter weekend, we got to be truthful. It reminded us of home. Hot Springs was where we're going to spend the beginning of Easter weekend.